You, you want some Hamilton? Take a break, say no to this. Come on in, I got you covered. Welcome back, friends, and a special welcome. Welcome to all the new friends out there. I'm Yo BGS. Can you tell I have trouble starting videos? We are checking out Take a Break and Say No to This. Two songs you told me I've got to react to back to back. And then I think we've got what the room where it happens, which I know a lot of people are looking forward to. If you dig these reactions, if you're looking forward to what's to come, make sure to subscribe, have the notifications on because it helps the channel out more than you know. At 100K, I'm going to cosplay as one character from Hamilton and sing one song that you suggest. And here we go. Okay. This is at the end of cabinet battle one. Hamilton essentially got sent home. Didn't do so well in the first one. So we're going to see here what happens uh, after he gets back. Hopefully the wife helping him out a little bit. Oh, okay. And see, that's my already my reminder that I forgot to turn subtitles on. I feel like that happens every time. Um, and I forgot, John... Um, not John Lawrence, the actor who played Lawrence is now playing uh, young Hamilton, right? Philip Hamilton, I believe. <laughs> Learning French. I like the song. It's it's a very cool one. I like, I don't know. Is that, okay, so if you know French, is that a song you learned to learn numbers growing up? Or did, is this another Lin-Manuel Miranda specialty? My dearest Angelica, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. I trust you'll understand the reference to another Scottish tragedy without my having to name the play. They think me Macbeth. Ambition is my folly. I'm a polymath, a pain in the ass, a massive pain. Madison is Bankwell, Jefferson's Macduff, and Bur Interesting way of seeing things. By the way, a little bit of a Shakespearean combo. Now, first question that I need you to help me out with in the comments. We see Eliza with the young Hamilton there, but Alex is writing to... Oh my god, I just I literally just spaced out here. I'm going back. Yes, Angelica. Thank you. I totally came up with that amount. Angelica in the background reading the note. And um, is this another side piece kind of vibe? Right? Like, obviously there was his um friendship with Lawrence. Now there's this relationship with Angelica from Satisfied. Or am I just too used to daytime TV? I guess that's my... I'm too used to Jerry Springer. And Burnham Wood is Congress on its way to Dunson There you are an ocean away. You have to live an ocean away. Thoughts of you subside. Then I get another letter. And I cannot put the notion away. I'm on my way. There's a little surprise before supper and it cannot wait. Okay. And right. So again, check me if I'm wrong. But historically here, Eliza is really kind of getting screwed. It, I don't know. It's it's weird. Act two is making Hamilton seem like not the greatest of guys. I don't, his, his view of government, obviously something that clashes with what we were thinking about in 2022. And kind of running around behind Eliza a little bit. That being said, and then is there something to the fact that these two can sing in perfect harmony... Probably literally and figuratively. And meanwhile, she's just trying to be a good wife, man. I'll be there in just a minute, save my plane. Alexander, your son is nine years old today. He has something he'd like to say. Dude, it's a shame basketball hadn't been invented then. If nine year olds were this big. I mean, Alex wouldn't have had to work on a form of government. Just send Philip to the NBA. He's been practicing all day. He should be in the Take NBA. Take it away. Daddy, daddy, look. My name is Philip. I am a poet. What? I wrote this poem just to show what? you. What? <laughs> nah, just turn nine. You can write rhymes, but you can't write mine. Oh. I practice French and play piano with my mother. Uh -huh. I have a sister, but I want a little brother. Okay. My 
My daddy's trying to start America's bank. Okay. I love this. This is already way more lighthearted than I was expecting. And uh, I'm a big fan. This is the part, where, by the way, where if you're new, I point out I have to pause a lot in these videos because if I don't, the mouse will f my whole channel. So that's why we, we, take, we take a break. I want that again, by the way. Give me that. That was... That was gorgeous. Just turn nine. You can write rhymes, but you can't write mine. Oh. I practice French and play piano with my mother. Uh -huh. I have a sister. You can say the I darndest things, brother. am I right? My daddy's trying to start America's bank. And the twat the shit. I love that the audience loved that as much as I did. Like, I don't know. It's just so chill. And then. God bless Eliza. I feel like the the significant others of all moguls kind of deal with this, right? This moment where she just wants him. He is enough, you know, as we learned from Act 1. But meanwhile, he is doing everything with everybody and is never again going to be satisfied. For the summer, let's go upstairs. Eliza, I've got so much on my plate. We can all go stay with my father. There's a lake I know, I know. in a nearby pond. I'd love to go. You and I can go when the night gets dark. I will try to get away. My dearest Alexander, you must get through to Jefferson. Sit down with them and compromise. Don't stop till you agree. And then meanwhile, meanwhile, Angelica is giving him like all the work advice. So like you can't you you can't knock Alex for talking to her because it sounds like you know she's a a better mind to bounce some of those business ideas off of but again I would say that's still like not fair to Eliza and I don't know favorite older sister feels super patronizing there by the way this is like I hate to say it because it sounds super corny but like this is also the life of someone who like me, like my day job is 60 hours a week. And then I try and do YouTube on the side, putting out videos every day. You know, you get somebody who wants to do something with you. Like, I gotta, gotta go make a video. And, and then they just wander away. I don't have any rapping nine-year-olds though. I will try to get away. My dearest Alexander, you must get through to Jefferson. Sit down with them and compromise. Don't stop till you agree. Your favorite older sister, Angelica, reminds you there's someone in your corner all the way across the sea. In a letter I received from you two weeks ago, I noticed a comma in the middle of a phrase. It changed the meaning. Did you intend this? Uh oh, what are we gonna have here? Now I'm a little concerned. If you're a Simpsons fan, it said no. Money down! Exclamation point. Stroke and you've consumed my wicked gaze. It says, My, my dearest Angelica. Angelica, with the comma after dearest, you've written, My, my dearest mm -hmm. Angelica. And he didn't do things unintentionally. I to say, I'm coming home this summer at my sister's invitation. I'll be there with your family if you make your way upstate. I know you're very busy, I know your work's important, but I'm crossing the ocean and I just can't wait. And she has infinite air. The, uh, honestly, this hoop skirt must be full of oxygen for her to get through those verses. And now, now he's going to come running across the room. I feel like John Madden. Hamilton gets the letter from Angelica. And boom, he goes over here, talks to Eliza. But in all seriousness, now he's going to be all geeked up to go. You won't be an ocean away. You will only be a moment away. Meanwhile, it's just a vibe. Alexander, come downstairs. Angelica's arriving today. Sister. Penelope? Right? Where's the third one? What happened to her? Alexander. Hi. It's good to see your face. Angelica, tell this man John Adams spends the summer with his family. Angelica, tell. If John Adams jumped off a bridge, I don't think Hamilton would. Eh, he might. I don't know. My wife, John Adams, doesn't have a real job anyway. You're not <laughs> us, wait. I'm afraid I cannot join you upstate. Oh. I came all this way. She came all this way. Oh. Take a break. You know I have to get my plan to Congress. Run away with us for the 
the summer, let's go upstate. I lose my job if we don't get this plan to We can all go stay with our father. I hate to say it, but um, I feel like right now Congress has a thing with Hamilton where it's how can I miss you if you won't go away? The fact that he is just constantly, constantly, constantly beating down their door, he's starting to get on people's bad side. Maybe if he took a couple months off when he came back, they'd be a little more receptive to his ideas. Because we all have that person, right? Again, I've said this earlier in videos about Hamilton. He wants you to know not only that you're wrong, but he wants you to understand why you're wrong and then agree with them. And, and sometimes it can be a little grating. They're so good. This is a high key like earworm. This is the song that when you're just wandering around the house, man, you start singing it. You bust it out. Full on Skylar sister emphasis. This is too much happiness. plan through congress there it is i was just i was thinking it i didn't want to talk over the music this is too much happiness for alexander the rule of alexander hamilton's life is that he's not allowed to be happy let's let's call it what it is at this point he is not allowed to be happy so how's he gonna screw this up i can't stop till i get this plan through congress I mean, at least they're happy. At least Phil's gonna be happy. There's nothing like summer in the city. There's our narrator. Someone under stress meets someone looking pretty. Wait a minute. Is that, that's a song, right? The, the, like, hot child, summer in the city. Dun, 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 is, is that an illusion, to, or am I... I'm probably stretching here. Hey, lady There's in the red here. dress, all it's right. Funny. And Alexander's by himself. I'll let him tell it. Eep. By the way, I just realized, because I have a lot of younger viewers, that's an Anchorman reference. I hadn't slept in a week. I was weak. I was awake. You've never seen a bastard orphan more in need of a break. Longing for Angelica. Missing my wife. That's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life. She said, I'm Oh, God. <laughs> Hamilton, Hamilton, Hamilton. You always were a sucker for a woman in a musical. No, you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. And I came here all alone. The old groupie? She said, my husband's doing me wrong, beating me, cheating me, mistreating me. Suddenly he's up and gone. I don't have the means to go on. So I offered her a loan. I offered to walk her home, she said. You're too kind, sir. I gave her 30 bucks that I had socked away. She lived a block away. She Let's go to the old inflation calculator. $30 is a significant amount of money back then. Um, but... I'm guessing that's not what she's after, mon frere. This one's my answer. Then I said, well, I should head back home. She turned red. She led me to a bed, let her legs spread, and said, hey, hey, hey. That's when I began to pray, Lord, show me how to say no to this. I don't know how to say no to this. But my God, she looks so helpless. And her body's saying hell. Very intentional lyrics, by the way, given that Helpless, you know, is a song that's already been said before. God bless this man. God love him. Somebody has to. I get, and again, I guess this is the, it's that classic tale, right? You know, act one sets up the hero, act two, clearly the hero is a little bit flawed, is, is the takeaway, I feel. I can't blame him. 
Um, you know, as, as somebody who identifies as someone who's into women, that is a, absolutely a, an interesting maneuver, shall we say, but, um, you needed to get your plan through Congress, and I don't think her name is Congress, and I don't think plan is a nickname, you know what, never mind. His conscience in the background? No. A month into this endeavor, I received a letter. Was there any chance that Nick Cannon was supposed to play Hamilton at one point? <sighs> I'm trying to see. You could see there's there's actresses in the background. I wasn't sure if they were the Schuyler sisters or not. I don't think they. I think it's just members of the company. But. No, and red too right red is green's compliment so the two of them going well together they can get together and make a mess i wish i could say that was the last time i said that last time it became a pastime a month into this endeavor i received the no 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 james reynolds even better. no 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 dear sir i hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous Enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me. Down on they luck. You see, that was my wife who decided to. Uh oh. <sighs> yep. 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 I take back everything I said about watching too much Jerry Springer. Right idea, wrong song. You made the wrong sucker a cuck hole So time to paint the pipe up all the pants you unbuckle And cool. hey, you can keep seeing my whole wife If the price is right If not, I'm telling your wife I hit the letter and I race to a place Screamed, I'll cut you in the face She said, How could you? How could you? What? What? No, Alexander, come on How could you command her? worse that they're reprising a song involving his wife i don't know can you tell that cheating is my particular picadillo long story there you don't want to get into it but oh my goodness it's too late now you jackass to know this Me, right Me, am i that probably means that this is gonna go contribute to alex's implosion uh in the rest of act two because right now this feels particularly detached from everything else like we already know from the other stuff that he's got you know commitment issues which again nothing wrong with that the other person knows and consents to it but that does not seem to be the case here Go back to work, dude. So? Nobody needs to know. That that part I know that I cut out. Um, 
but and and I actually hope I do it this time instead of last time, like where I said I did, and there's just a weird awkward pause. Um, I don't know. It, like I said, cheating cheating really rubs me the wrong way for um, a number of reasons. But um, that song, I, I feel like that's not intended to hurt as much as I was feeling that one. It's something about Hamilton going back on his work. The fact that he. Uh, has a good relationship with Eliza, but still wants everything else. Again, I guess it ties into the overall themes, right? Of never being satisfied, of nothing being enough for him. And then, and then, and then, and I know I'm getting into the next song here just a second, but this two seconds of snarky, smarmy, Aaron Burr, I need to hear this just a moment. This guy knows exactly what he's doing. Ah, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Burr. I hate that. Ah, Mr. Secretary. Dude, dude almost had his, uh, again, life explode in front of him. And he's just like, ah, hey, buddy, how you doing? And knowing, I gotta believe Aaron Burr knows. I don't know, Aaron Burr seems to know everything that's going on. Um, really, really, really emotional stuff in these two songs and I can see that this like I said this video is going on uh, for a while tackling issues that I did not expect in Hamilton I thought this was going to be political I thought this was going to be governance and stuff like that and now that we're getting into a lot of the inner workings of all of it like it really it, it, it wrenches at you it's like if you've ever seen um was it Jersey Boys right about the four seasons and the dude gets the gambling debt and the violence and all this kind of like you it takes you on a path you weren't expecting and then you're just sitting there in the middle of it like what did i walk into you know it's like if you went in to see the lion king and halfway through it transitioned into the second half of hostile you're like wait no i didn't sign up for this at all but hey we're on this journey we are on it together and if you made it this far i appreciate you more than you know um thank you so much again please consider subscribing take care as always my friends and i will see you for the next one.